welcome back to another festive video something is jingling i have here a bunch of stockings there's like one two three four five six stockings i just grabbed a bunch we have a bunch um i love stockings but i love stocking stuffers i love buying stocking stuffers i can't even say it stocking stuffers i think they're really fun and I feel I like to make them a bit cheesy and creative, but I also kind of do like them to be good, good things too, not just too cheesy. So I thought I'd do a festive video um, with some stocking stuff ideas, and this is kind of more down the line of a geeky stuffing stocking stuffer ideas. Um, there's a few things that you might be able to do for your mom or your dad or your uncle, or whatever, um, but probably a lot of them will be better for a well you know obviously it can be gifts as well it doesn't have to be a stocking but these are just kind of smaller present ideas maybe that's what we'll call it smaller present ideas for a friend or a boyfriend or obviously a girlfriend or you know whatever um kind of that age from like maybe i don't know 17 to 25 that kind of gap with some kind of geeky fun things however i will say there are some things mixed in here that i've actually you know given to my mum before in the past in a stocking so you know they all kind of can alter change um so what i've got here is let me put these stockings down for a second um on the table i have on this side of the table i have all the stocking stuffers i'm going to put in josh's stocking which is actually this one whether or not they'll fit or not is going to be another question uh but yeah this is the stuff that's going in the stocking and um josh is my boyfriend so these are things him in a stocking and then on the other side of the table I have things that aren't gifts for anybody but are things that I own that either I've received in a stocking in the past or I've given to a friend um, in the past or something that I think would be great for a stocking that is something a little bit different but also kind of geeky fun nice small gifts so I kind of have two sides of the table so obviously one side I mean you know everything's obviously all gender equal for the most part um, but on one side maybe you might say they're a bit more boy gifts once like maybe a bit more girl gifts you know just how you look at it but obviously i might prefer things i also would like things on josh's side so it doesn't really matter anyway so what i'm going to do first of all i'll show you the things i have actually bought to put in the stocking and then i'm going to wrap them up some of these things you will have seen if you're watching my christmas gift shopping haul video however some of them you won't have and i'm not going to include them in the another video again uh, and then like i say all the other things are just things that i own that i think would make nice cute presents so let's just get into it so the first thing i have here is something really funny so this is a nintendo 3ds pen um and it's like a large one this is a skylanders one obviously this is we're starting out with josh's stuff um so these are things that i've bought this year to give to him this year um and i got this on ebay and i placed a bid on it for 99p and i actually ended up winning it and i was like oh okay uh, he's getting a new 2ds xl for christmas and they only have really tiny pens so i thought oh I'll, I'll bid on this big pen i don't know if he'll use it or not however if he stops using it i'm absolutely going to use this i want a giant 3ds pen um so yeah this cost me a total of 199 got it on ebay it was one pound postage 99p bid and it's a large uh 3ds pen so if you know someone likes and instead of 3ds maybe just even a pack of the 3ds pens would be so helpful because i personally lose them all the time but yeah they do do some quite cool ones i mean this is a bit cheesy but i thought it was quite fun okay the next thing i have is something i think is a great stocking stuffer i'm so excited about it and this is play that tune um and this was seven pounds from clinton cards but i've also seen it for five pound 99 in sainsbury's with a different kind of box i've also seen it on amazon i think they're selling them everywhere this year and basically this says um it's got four kazoos and 50 play that tune cards and on each card it's got three um tunes so for example on the back here it says um the easy tune to play is old mcdonald's had a farm so you've obviously got your little kazoo you play the tune and other people have to guess it um and then the medium um song on that card is walking on sunshine and the difficult song on that card is antiques roadshow theme uh, i just think this is gonna be so much fun for in a stocking because um we open the stockings in the morning and then go to quite a few places in the day of christmas so i want to take this around and just have fun with it and have people guess tunes and i just thought it'd be a really fun little cute thing so i would really recommend this if you kind of think it's up your street um i don't know how excited josh will be about it but i know that i'm excited about it so i had to get this for his stocking simply for the fact that i desperately wanted this 
so that's sometimes how it works but yeah I think this is a really fun one uh, the next one is kind of going down that kind of fun little geeky line I think these are great stocking stuffers this is the pint size heroes this is a horror one but they've got a bunch they've got Disney they've got Guardians of the Galaxy they've got I can't even think there's a bunch these are made by Funko Funko do some really fun things this is about £2.50 £2.99 um, and obviously you can get a selection of different horror characters for this particular pack and um, there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve options and you get one blind this is a little blind bag uh, but i do think that blind bags are a fun little stocking stuffer because not only will you unwrap i wrap stocking stuffers other people might not i like to wrap all things all the time so i do wrap stocking stuffers and um, but not only will you unwrap the present but then you're able to open up the packet and also get a surprise um so i'm really excited about this um, I only picked up one, but obviously you can pick up a couple of these and it'd be really fun. Uh, you can get these in a bunch of places. Uh, Tesco's, Toys R Us, Forbidden Planet, things like that. But yes, yeah, so that's really fun. Nice little geeky gift. Um, then I've got a Toblerone. I mean, chocolate feels like a necessity in a stocking. Um, and then I've also got these little skull chocolates, which I've shown in my other video. I just think this is super cute. I've got these from TK Maxx. Again, I like chocolatey things in the stockings. Um, I got these Guinness crisps. I don't think I'll wrap these if I'm honest. I'm probably just gonna slot these in the top of the stocking. Uh, these were just kind of like a weird little quirky crisp. Obviously I wouldn't usually get crisps to put in a stocking, but because they were Guinness flavored, I thought, yeah, okay, that'll be a fun thing to give a try to on Christmas. Uh, next I've got a DVD. I think DVDs are a good stocking stuffer. This is Journey to Agatha. Um, this is just a DVD that I know Josh would be interested in. I'm really excited about it. It's an anime one. We're into a lot of anime at the moment, uh, but obviously you can interchange whatever DVD the person for you. So if you haven't thought of a DVD, always a good thing to think of a DVD. Uh, the next thing I have, okay, I've got this little hat. This hat was £2.50 from Primark. I went to the till and then it was £1. So I was like, yeah, £1. Um, so yeah, what a hat or gloves or anything like that. Uh, I know last year my dad got me a nice little bobble hat and some gloves and I loved it, worn them a bunch. Hat and gloves, you can never go wrong. I mean, everyone has a bunch, but it's always fun to have. So yeah, I managed to get a hat for a pound for a stocking stuffer. Happy about that. Uh, the next kind of fun little geeky gifts is these, which are kind of the next up thing from, um, pint size heroes this is the funko mystery mini so again it's a blind figure in here and i've got one to show you i forgot to get a pint size hero and this is how big they are uh, and this is the rick and morty ones i got this for 7.99 for hmv i don't know it's kind of a little bit pricey because you might get a duplicate um but they're this big and they are like nicely well made and detailed and there's again there's a bunch of different types they've got harry potter they've got disney they've got beauty and the beast uh, obviously rick and morty i think they've got horror ones of these as well there's just like an endless kind of amount of types of ones of these so you know whatever fandom i think this is a nice little stocking stuffer and there's literally a bunch of these that are available to get in the box i'm hoping he'll get snowball that's the one I want. I haven't even watched Rick and Morty, but looking at the back, I was like, yeah, Snowball's this little cute dog. And I was like, yeah, hope it's that one. I, I shook them and tried to pick one that was a little bit lighter than what I thought a person would be. So I don't know. But yeah, Funko Mystery Minis, I think are a fun one. So that's something fun that I think uh, Josh will really like in his stocking. Because again, you open it up and then you have to open it up again to double the surprise. Um, the next thing I've got here is a beer. A Christmas beer I mean obviously depending on age <laughs> uh, I thought this was fun it's a festive beer you can get festive beers at quite a few places and I think they're just quite fun to have a like a, it's basically just a festive label plastered on a type of beer but yeah I thought it was quite fun but maybe a little bit heavy for a stocking I'm not sure I'm gonna have to see how that goes then I've got here this games room brain teasers so this is just a pack of 140 question cards with little riddles on uh, I think again this will be really fun around the whole Christmas time usually visiting people seeing family and these are like fun little icebreakers um, Josh loves riddles so that's why I got him this particular one but if you look up this Ridley's games room they have like a bunch of different ones and I do have something else along this line in my pile in a minute uh, but yeah again I think this is kind of a fun little stocking stuffer okay so the next thing I have here is this world bottled beers book I talked about this in my Christmas gift haul video I love this little book, I got it for £3.99 or £3.50 from TK Maxx 
always look up TK Maxx for fun little quirky stocking stuffers. Um, I think as well, if you had a dad that loved different types of beers, this is such a great present. It's by Adrian Tyranny Jones, and it's just called World Bottle Beers, and it has beers from all around, let me find a cool one, oh there's a quite cool one, all around different places, you know, the USA, Europe, um, Australia, just all different places, obviously UK, um, and this one's from Germany, has little information about it, and then at the bottom it says similar beers to try, which I thought was quite cool, um, and I just think this is just such a cool little book, and I love it. Um, so yeah, that's that, and then the final thing for Josh's stocking, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in, hold on, I put the stocking on the floor, just try and see if it does fit in, um, it's this barbecue rub, uh, this is just like a nice cooking thing, it's got these like different meat rubs and spices and stuff, uh, which I just thought was fun and a bit different, does this fit, yes fits, but will anything else fit in when that's in, hmm, it's questionable, I don't think this beer is going to go in, I was going to put it like in the foot of the stocking, but I don't know, I'm going to wrap these stocking stuffers after I film this video, so I'll find out. Um, but yes, that's that. Uh, now, moving on to the other side of the table, where I have things that I just randomly thought you would like. So the first thing is a wireless mouse. You know what I think? It's a bit of a weird one. Well, last year my mum got me a wireless mouse in my stocking and I play The Sims 4 on my laptop and I generally use my laptop all the time obviously to edit videos and do other things um, and I didn't have a mouse for it uh, because you know they've got a little trackpad, I use that all the time. This wireless mouse, it comes with this little thing ah, that you just pull out which is like the USB thing and then you turn the mouse on and you put the USB thing obviously in the USB bit in the computer and then you can just store it in the bottom of the mouse so you don't lose it. And all year I have been using this and thinking it's the best thing ever. So this was a, just a great stocking stuffer that's kind of very practical. Uh, you know, you use it a lot, it's nice and small. I love this. So that was a stocking stuffer that I got, that I loved. And um, the next thing is these little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. They do Christmas flavors. If you live in the US, obviously you probably know about these. You can go to America, you can go to America. You can go to Bath and Body Works, is what I meant to say, and pick these up really cheap. Look, $1.75, what it says on the back. This one's Twisted Peppermint, and oh, it just smells like Christmas. I've got it on my nose. Um, oh, I just love it. Um, and if you don't live in the US, you can go on eBay and you can pick these up for maybe like mm, two pounds or something, two pound fifty. And I've many, many times over all the years picked these up for friends um, to go with the Christmas presents because they're just, they're just so cute. They have such a little cute um, picture on the front. They smell very festive, and I love them. And I think they're just a really nice little practical present. It's kind of weird, but they're so cute and they're glittery and colourful. So yes, I've gotten Josh one of these before. Um, so you know, it's obviously. You know, yeah, I've got my mum one before. Um, you know, anybody, anybody can have a hand sanitizer. So there we go. Next thing I've got here is these really cute pens. So these are metallic pens, and these are Paper Mania. I got these off Amazon, and they're just really nice metallic pens. But I thought that's a really nice, cute little Christmas present because I always think these are very festive pens. I write my Christmas cards with these pens, and I, I love them. But I obviously, use them other times. Uh, they write on black and on white. Um, but yeah, I just think any kind of nice nice pack of pens. Something small, something practical. This side's maybe more the practical side. It does get a little bit unpractical though as we go on. Uh, okay, we'll go back to Funko. This is a Dorbs. Again, this is again the next size up. So we have the Pint Size Heroes, the Mystery Minis, the Dorbs, and then obviously you've got the Funko Pops. I think the Dorbs are good stocking stuffers because they're a nice size. Um, the Dorbs, you can see what you're buying. It's not a mystery. This is just an example of a size. Um, and I think these are really cute, so it's just a really cute little smiley figure and they have a million different fandoms so if you have somebody who likes geeky things I think Funko do a lot of nice options uh, next they have these Burt's Bees lip balms, I got these last year uh, for Christmas and there's one left in here I've been working my way through them all year and the Burt's Bees lip balms are really really great, this is a really nice little size package in this one I had pomegranate, coconut and pear, mango and pink grapefruit and again, I love these, they're practical, they're cute, smell nice, so that's fun. This next thing I have is something you might think, oh okay, I feel like everybody's gotten one of these once. 
Uh, and this is my hair with stuck on it, sorry. Um, this is a little hand warmer. Now, you might think, oh no, I don't want to get somebody a hand warmer. Okay, yeah, I agree, I agree, because these are annoying. Um, inside, there's this little thing you have to press, and I don't understand how to work these hand warmers. I just don't get it. It says to hold, to heat the hand warmer, hold the metal chip inside the hand warmer between your thumb and your finger to reactivate, do this, do that, and I'm just like, oh. However, let me tell you, this is just here for a prop. In Sainsbury's, I saw this little pack with two like this, but they were fluffy little owls, adorable. And I thought, oh my god, they're so cute. But I thought, well, you know how I feel about hand warmers, they, they, I find them really frustrating to use. And then I looked, and these were microwavable hand warmers, so maybe they're gonna, you know, the heat might lose on them quicker. But I just thought it was so cute, if you know someone who's working outside or working somewhere cold, if they can put them in the pockets and put their hands in them and keep warm hands, they were just adorable. So, you know, if you know somebody like that, maybe look in Sainsbury's at those really cute hand warmers. That is why, what this fox is representing. I can't remember how much they were, but they were so cute. Um, next thing I have are these film trivia cards. I recently actually made a video with these question cards. Uh, I got these in my stocking once a few years ago. I love them, it kind of matches along with the this, like that's kind of what I meant earlier. Uh, and these are just little film questions. So again, if you have a film lover, um, it's just a little pack of film cards. I think they do music ones and all sorts. I think little quizzes are always fun at Christmas because again, you can just ask people, oh, do you want a quiz question? And you ask them it and it's fun. Next thing here I have is if you have a Disney lover, a sum sum. I love these sum sums. I think they're so cute. Um, I've got given these for. I've given these as gifts before. That's what I'm trying to say. And I have a bunch myself. These are these soft plush ones, but you can also get blind back ones. You can get just a bunch of different types of ones. And they're just like little Disney characters in a cute little round package. I love them. So yeah, sum sums. They're not very expensive. They're cute. They're Disney. Can't really go wrong. Okay, the next thing on my list is something that, again, I've given as a gift multiple times. And this is, well, I'm not giving this exact type, but this one is the Harry Potter postcard colouring book, which I have given as a gift twice, this Harry Potter kind of themed one. But they also do kind of just like a bird themed one, which I got my mum last year. And um, they do just, just, you know, other themed ones. And basically what this is, is it's a colouring book where you then pull the page out that you've coloured and you send it as a postcard. I think it's so cute because it's such a small little book. Um, I think these make great stocking stuff as the postcard colouring books. It doesn't matter what you're colouring, whatever. They do Harry Potter ones or they do other ones. Uh, I think they're cute. And also you could always go with a pack of pens, a pack of pencils and that's a really cute gift. Um, again, these don't have to be stocking stuff as these are small gifts you could give to friends. Uh, it's got a colouring book and the pens I think is really nice um, and still really cute and fun. Okay so I've got a few things left on my side here. I've started to muddle things up which is never good. Um, okay next thing is also from Bath & Body Works. It's a little candle however you can do Yankee Candle if you live in the UK or you don't live in the US or you don't want to go on eBay but these Oh, Bath and Body Works ones smell amazing. This is Peppermint Marshmallow and I've actually still got a, quite a few of these festive candles. Um, I went to New York in November time and I hoarded up on festive hand sanitizers and festive little candles. Obviously I couldn't get big ones because I was travelling back and then also somebody has once sent me festive little candles and festive little hand sanitizers so I just I keep using them and keep them for all the time and I haven't used this one yet, it smells amazing. I'm really glad that I've still got some left in my little hoard of Bath & Body Works stuff. Uh, but yeah, these smell great, but if not, a little Yankee candle, I think it's always really cute. Candle's always a nice, cosy, wintry type of things. Um, we have the final Funko product. <laughs> You'd think that Funko was like involved in this video, there's so much Funko stuff, but I think they just do great stuff. Um, and this is a Funko Pop keyring. Now I've had this keyring for a while and I got this as a present and I love it because Thor is my favourite superhero, I love Thor. Um, and I was worried that if I put it on my keys it would get all dirty and mashed up. So as weird as I am, I've had this beautifully displayed on my shelf in the little box. I love it. 
um, and it's a little Funko key ring. You'll probably see these um, in HMV and places like that. Again, they've got a whole array of fandom choices, but I think they're just a really cute little present. And obviously, probably a normal person will take it out of its box and put it on their keys. Um, I think they're so cute. Um, so yeah, it's like another little mini Funko, really cute little present. Um, next one is these Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Okay, so these are the Disney Princess Enchanted Mix. And the reason why I say these is because I think that, if you're wondering why I've got an empty packet of jelly beans, I know. Um, but these are also glittery jelly beans, and I think they'd make a really cute little present. Um, I've gotten these multiple times, multiple years in my stockings. Sometimes they're like themed, like this one, Disney Princess. Sometimes they're not. Um, sometimes they're festive ones, but I think Jelly Belly are really good make, and I love the little cute jelly beans, so I think I think these are fun. I suppose if you want to kind of go up a level, you could get those um, Bean Boozled, which are like, kind of like a, some are horrible flavours, some are nice flavours. If you've got a bunch of family together at Christmas, it might be fun to play the Bean Boozled. You can get a big box, you can get a little box. I do not like the idea of Bean Boozled because I don't like not knowing what it's going to be and it just creeps me out. So I'm personally not a Bean Boozled fan, but everybody else uh, you know, everywhere has been kind of trying being boozled and risking it. I just haven't. Um, but yeah, maybe that's a fun little idea as well, being boozled. All these cute little themed jelly bellies if you can find them. Um, next one I have here is, if you know someone who likes Pokemon or if they've got the Pokemon Ultra Sun or Pokemon Sun or Moon game, maybe some Pokemon cards would be a fun little thing. You could get one in little tiny foil packs. And again, I think the fun is with it is once you open it, you get to open it again and have the second surprise. I think that's always fun. This is a tin. I think this was like £10 something and it had... How many does it have it? Does it say? Oops. Um, you get four booster packs. So maybe it had 40 cards in. Uh, and you got a nice little storage tin as well. Um, sorry, this thing's rattling around inside because I'm storing stuff in the storage tin. Um, but yeah, so I just thought it was a fun little, fun little idea. Maybe a nice kind of geeky idea. But I feel like if someone wants Pokemon cards, they probably already have Pokemon cards, but obviously a booster pack can always be a win then. Um, next thing, Amiibo. Uh, if you know someone who has a 3DS or a Switch, I think the Switch is going to be pretty big this Christmas, so if somebody is getting a Switch for Christmas, maybe getting them an Amiibo would be a fun little stocking stuffer. These are usually about 10 or 12 pounds, kind of around that range. Um, you can get them from Argos, Amazon, Toys R Us, all the places. And again, they do a bunch of different Nintendo characters. So for Nintendo fans, I think these are lots of fun. And then finally, something that I got Josh for his stocking last year is a game, Backpacker. This is a card game and I love it. We, I, I can't believe we've only had this for a year. Um, we've played it at multiple occasions. Uh, me and my mum have also played it. Like me and Josh basically share this now. I've kind of adopted it on myself as well. Um, but we've played this a bunch. I mean, really, really love it. It's just a fun little card game. We've taken it on quite a few trips. We've taken it on some kind of family um, gatherings and played it with other people. It's really easy to kind of introduce once you learn how to play it. And I think it was just a really successful stocking stuffer from last year. So I thought I'd just mention it here. They also have a space themed one. This is a travel themed one um, and they have a space themed one. I'm not going to go too much into the details of it here because you know that I just drag on but if you look it up you might be interested in it. They sell it in Waterstones and on Amazon. They're the places that I've seen it. So yes that was my stocking stuffer idea video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you at least got one inspiration if you're struggling for stocking stuffer ideas or slash small gift ideas for friends or whatever uh, things like that. Hopefully this was gave a bit of idea and kind of some fun geeky items that aren't like the obvious like you know they're not like toiletries or well, obviously there were some chocolates but you know they're not kind of that mainline option that you probably already know about and hopefully seeing some of the stuff was helpful I have looked up a bunch of these type of videos just to get more ideas for myself um, and I find a lot of times people don't actually have the item they just kind of have a picture of something they've seen online so I'm not really sure how well it works or how much they like it and things like that so hopefully seeing some things was kind of helpful and getting a bit of feedback there uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this festive video thank you so much for watching hope you got some ideas and i'll see you next time goodbye mm -hmm.